Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry for the bumpy road here. Um, in this video, we are going to be heading out of the city a little bit to do a snowmobile review for you in my snowmobile. I know there's been a handful of guys asking for me to do a review on it, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, this is not exactly the reason I'm heading out here. I uh, installed a new can on my sled, so uh, I just want to see how it sounds and take it for a little rip before I head up into the mountains uh, next week. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. I'm alone, so I'm not going to do any crazy long trail rides. I'm just going to kind of stick around this little area I know and um, just get some sound clips and make sure everything is all functioning right. And like I say, do a walk around for you guys. So I'm just heading out of the city here. Well, I'm out of here, out of the city already. I'm just a couple minutes away. And uh, when we get there, we'll do the walk around for you guys. So see you in a bit. Alright guys, so we made it out here, see I got the sled unloaded behind me here, and uh, I'm going to do a walk around for you and then I'll do some sound clips of it, stuff like that. It's really nothing special, um, I just honestly, I didn't come out here to make the video, that's just kind of a bonus, I just came out here to test what the can sounds like and whatnot. I actually can't get to the area I wanted to go to, the road's flooded over, but uh, this will do. So. I'll uh, do that walk around right now for you guys and then throw some sound clips in at the uh, after towards the end of the video. Alright, so this is my 2013 Skidoo uh, Summit 800 uh, XM free ride. Uh, 154 track. I'll explain that in a little bit why I didn't go to a 163. Um, I don't know what to tell you about it. Electric start, of course, KYB shocks. Um, elect yeah, I said electric start, it's got a riser. I don't know, it's a pretty basic sled. The only aftermarket thing I've done to it is a can, which I just did. And uh, I'll throw a couple sound clips at the, at the end of this video for you. It's an MBRP race can. But um, yeah, this is it. Honestly, there's not much that's gonna be done to this sled. I'm gonna pretty much keep it as is and uh, maybe just like do maintenance and maybe some small mods down the road but I'm not 100% sure yet. It's only got 2000K on it and uh, you know, electric start, all that kind of, or I said electric start, but like heated grips, whatnot, that's what I meant. Stuff like that, so sorry, I'm a little out of breath here. <laughs> I just got back from a little rip, but it's got a graphic kit on it and whatnot. But I just wanted to give you guys a walk around of it and uh, to show it to you guys. I did have a Arctic Cat M8 800 uh, 163 track and then I ended up selling it and getting this 154 uh, just because I kind of like ski do better and for the amount that I go into the mountains I mean I live right by them but I don't go uh, major hill climbing or anything like that really all the time so the 154 track does just fine but anyway that's the sled and I'll put some sound clips in now for you Okay guys, well we're just heading back now, and uh, yeah, it was pretty fun, I, uh, I mean I was only out there for not very long, um, just I really just wanted to test, make sure the sled was good um, for the mountains this coming weekend, and just wanted to see what the can, can sounds like, um, and I gotta tell you, it sounds pretty sick, it's a little loud, but um, we'll see, I'll, I'll see how it goes on this ride in the mountains, and then um, if I don't like it, I'll, I can always change it or whatever. But um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I did a little walk around for you guys as well. So 
I mean, like I said, there's nothing really too special on the sled. It's just the standard Skidoo uh, Free Ride 800 uh, E Tech. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Nothing much else I can say. I'm trying to pump out videos for you guys. It just is really hard. <laughs> I, um, you know, you guys really want to see truck videos, but I'm struggling with uh, getting content for you guys of my truck because right now there's really nothing I'm doing to it. Um, you know, I, I'm kind of in the process of looking at selling this truck even though I just got it a couple months ago and getting a newer truck. I don't want to spill the beans on what yet. But, um, so I'm not really kind of just putting mods on hold for now and until I figure out exactly what's going to happen. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate everybody that comments and likes my videos and uh, we'll see you in the next one video.